What's good, gangers? It's your boy T. Wood. It's off. Norwood. Pick six. Five in the pattern. Gino hit as he got rid of it. Metcalf is taken down right away. What's good, y'all? It's you. Set up, open looks from the outside. Why not? Isaiah Jones shoots another one. Seven for seven, Isaiah Jones. And it's Cowboys with, with the crew. crew. We rolling, though. What's up, gangers? Are we on? We've been we on? rolling. We've been rolling. So you knew that? The past like two minutes we've been rolling. That be jerky good. Let's try it. I mean the bag I'm on gun, you want some? Okay. What you want, bro? I don't eat beef jerky, bro. I'm just be lying, bro. Why a lot of them? You just said you're gonna be an honest man, then you just lie. I don't right eat beef jerky. Bro, I've seen you go on my pantry again. That's home. not true. That is not true. That is not true. Niggas lie. I don't beat beef jerky. I eat deer jerky. I seen you go in there and get some Jack. Deer jerky is dip. I don't drink eat that cheap stuff you got in there. Shout out Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat that cheap stuff. I eat, I eat deer jerky. I got killed with my deer before I eat it. So you you an animal uh, abuser? No, I hunt. You seen my shirt, like my sweatshirt last weekend? Y'all. Yeah. He ain't never sat in a hunting stand a day in his life. He has never sat in a hunting stand a day in his life. You right. I know you. I know I'm right. Cause I hunt on my, I just hunt on land, baby. I don't, I don't sit nowhere. <laughs> I, go, I, go, I go get mine. That's your analogy today? What? And that's your saying today? What? I, I'm saying I go get mine. So you be running mm -hmm. around chasing after them on foot? I don't, I don't have to run around and chase. I'm fast enough to catch up to whoever's running. <laughs> oh. You versus a deer, a deer is dusty. Well, me versus uh, you. Niggas know what's up with me. Okay. He been ducking me for the past two months, y'all. He been duck. He went and run five yards. Who races five yards? Like, what? That's not a race. I beat you already. Put that on something. Take that back. I didn't see, beat you. you no, no, I'm talking you about what I'm saying. You see how you lie? No. That's what I'm saying. You lying, we, bro. We, two summers, it was two summers ago, three summers ago. First of all, the time you're talking about. Oh, this, my God. Bro, listen. The time you're talking about was at the old gym. So this is No, like, it wasn't. It was, it was at the new gym. That's how I know you're COVID. lying. COVID. We was out. We had to be outside. Outside. You couldn't catch me. I had a cleats on. I, I ain't worked. <laughs> I haven't worked cleats since then. Hung them up. They on the power lines at the gym. <laughs> mm. Why are you lying right I'm now? I'm not. I'm not, but you know I'm not. <laughs> you and I both know you are. Crazy. It's straight. Hey, at some point in your life, bro, you're going to be like, you know what, bro? If that, hey, this, this thing, this is what you learn about in life. For all the people, this is an advice section right here. This is an advice segment. My parents always taught me sometimes God just ignore ignorance. And right now, this is a, <laughs> is a prime example of ignorance. You don't put your, you don't waste your time and energy on something like that. But hey, if that makes them sleep better at night, by all means, you I don't it. sleep good at night, so it don't matter. So what I'm saying is the truth. Why you don't sleep good at night? I was be thinking about all the accomplishments in my life, bro. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, think about that third grade trophy he college. won. All life, what? <laughs> Never that. All <laughs> life's a confidence, bro. That got me to this point, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just be like, nah, that man. helped him sleep better at night, though. By our mean. Like last but, night. But he, I woke up at midnight and was like, bro, I'm him. <laughs> it's like 3 30 in the morning. And I went back to sleep. <laughs> oh, I went back to sleep. <laughs> but. Every now and then you need that reminder. Yeah, him? It is. That, that's just like, no cap. You know your boy Brian be lying. Who? LeBron James. <laughs> we lie about now, bro. I seen a video in him and JJ Reddick podcast. And he was talking about how he never watches old highlights. This is him. He that, probably don't, bro. He's like, bro, all the athletes know. Cause as I know for me, bro, when I'm having like, if I'm in like a slump, 
or like maybe you in a slump to make highlights. No, I'm talking about like if I had like a bad game or like or if I'm like feel like I've been off or whatnot, I'm getting on YouTube and come out to remind myself that I'm that I'm that guy. Like you just said, I'm here, I'm getting on YouTube. Door. Sometimes you need that. Wait, wait, wait. What, what were they talking about? I don't. I'm not sitting here and cap you down and be like. Cause I, I just seen somebody talking about it, and it was like, I'm glad that JJ Reddick like checked LeBron or something. Cause LeBron would lie to you real quick all the time. <laughs> he was like, but no, but that's don't cap. Then I ain't gonna lie. That's low key part. Of like my my pregame routine. You watch on highlights? Like? Mm-hmm. I used like, to watch uh, like game days. You know how you watch everybody else, like the people you grew up on, like certain people. And now though, I'm typing in Trey Norwood. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're a narcissist, bro. Now I'm a narcissist because <laughs> that's crazy. This is the same dude that say he woke up at three in the morning and say I'm him. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Fool, bro. Listen, bro. Every, I'm lie. Telling you, every but, athlete at one point in time has watched on. And I'm not saying I just sit up and yeah, you do. glorify. I swear, you know me. It's straight, bro. Let's be real here. You know me though. You know I'm not that type of dude. I'm a real. Just guy. turn your highlights on right now. We don't, we don't need to talk I mean, about I, I didn't know you had one on YouTube. I knew you had one, but I didn't know they had like a like a highlight highlight. Like, oh you? Yeah. Somebody made a highlight game for you? Huh? It's hard. Yeah. How long is it? So, I don't know. That was a couple that of was them. two crazy statements on accident. That was. <laughs> we talking about you? That was too crazy. He said, How long hard? is the video? <laughs> How long is it? <laughs> How long is the video? I don't know. That's a couple of them. For real? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna check that out, man. You don't rock with a nigga for it. How you ain't never watch my highlights, bro? I've watched the games. I don't gotta watch that highlights. Shit. Come on, man. You watch the I ain't gotta go back and watch the highlights. Man. Um, I used to watch uh I used to watch David Irons. Kenny Irons, sorry. Kenny Irons. Who's that? He played running back at Auburn. Oh uh, I used to train with his dad. Mm. Um, but Kenny played Auburn. He played at Auburn. Kenny yeah. used to go crazy. Who I used to watch in like high school. And I like I said. And I used to watch my dog Bo too. Bo, hey, I'm gonna be talking about Bo. I used to watch in high school. I used to watch. They had like a compilation video of all the LSU DBs. Uh, it's a lot of them. Like I'm talking about around that time, it was it was Tyron Matthew, Pat Pete, Morris Claiborne, and Eric. They had a nice and, and, and Eric Reed. On the same team, that, wasn't it? Huh? They were on the same team. Mm-hmm. No way. I think three of them were. And Tyron was like a young young boy yeah, at the time. That's why I low key lit. Like, you know, last year when Pat had signed, I'm like, boy, it's crazy how this football stuff worked. Like, I used to, at North CT, you know, we used to have them little, um, we used to have like a couple hours to where we could just chill. That's cool. Mm-hmm. So, like, after, because, you know, seventh period was football. Yeah. So, game days, especially home games. We could chill to what, like 5.30? And we'll go eat. We could eat at, uh, I forgot what church that was. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a, a God for a man, love God to death. But that food was not it. Absolutely not. So I would call my papa. You know, my papa, he, he worked at the gates. Hey, papa, on your way up here, please stop and bring me something. And I go lay down in one of the little classrooms in our little football hall. And cutting that on. Yeah, that's why D.I. I mean, K.I. Like, religiously. Not watch Bo. Um, I don't think anybody... I, I didn't really watch anybody in the league. Because... Mine was all college. Yeah, mine too. I don't know why, though. You know what I used to watch? But I, I, I love NFL football, but I never watched highlights. You know what I used to watch? Play with him, too. Crazy. My dog, Carl. You did what? I said we play together too. That's not what you said. <laughs> don't, don't force though. Don't force. <laughs> Hell no. Force? You just said I play with him too. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you just said. But hey, I we played together in Pittsburgh, fool. Who was it? Carl Joseph. His West V. Hey, Carl. Carl. Carl his was West a bad v. man. Heights was crazy. Carl fool. was a bad man. But them. Um. I would like to know. I would like to know what everybody else watched. Like the, the people who mm-hmm. who got motivation from like pregame album, or watching yeah. other people, what y'all watch? Let us know in the comments what y'all watch. Who y'all watch? A lot, I'm people, right now, a lot of people probably gonna say me, but I, I mean, don't do. say me though. Other than me, <laughs> I hope they do. 
I hope they do. I really do. But every athlete at some point has, has typed their own name in and watched it on highlights. Like, so. Was your pregame music? It's a good question. I got stages. So I'm dead ass, bro. What you mean you got stages? So this is a one o'clock game. This is a this is a, a prime time seven seven o'clock Monday night football game. Why you got different playlists? I'm asking for this. Listen to me. All right, go ahead. Which one is it? One o'clock game? It don't matter. One o'clock game, I gotta get stuff going early. You feel me? Cause we gotta be at the stadium level. We gotta be there two hours before. But I'm boom. I'm waking up and off the wake up. Like I, I'm not, I cannot just listen to shoot them up, bang, bang, off the wake up. So off the wake up, as I'm getting ready, just chilling. Or if I'm, you feel me, just before I go to breakfast or whatnot, I'm cutting on gospel. I'm cutting on gospel. Keep it, I'll just be chilling, you feel me, get my mind right. And then like, I'll take it as like a home game. Cause you know, we drive ourselves to the game. Home game, so for my, I'm in the crib, cutting on gospel or whatnot. Then while I'm getting ready, I boot cut on YouTube, and I might cut on some highlights, uh, but then that's when I kind of like I cut on like my ride wave, you feel me, my boo boo ride wave, like all right look, rap but not like nothing like crazy or whatnot. Then on the way to the stadium, I got like low key like superstitions, bro. I got to listen to like at some point in that drive to the stadium, it's like a couple songs I have to listen to. Like the same songs like every game day. No, no cap. So I listen to like more like more of the rap stuff, you feel me? Like the the, the little baby, Luchi. Luchi go heavy on my game day play. Hey, free 650 Luch, man. Heavy on my on my game day playlist. And then when I get to the stadium, I get in, and that's really who I'm playing. Like it's like four or five songs of Luchi. Like I get in the hot tub. Get stretched out or whatnot. I'm listening to straight Lucci. And then I'm kind of, I'm weird in this aspect of to where, like, when we in the locker room, like, you know, we got somebody be on an ox or whatnot. Like, at that at that point, like, after I'm, like, done getting stretched and all that, and I'm getting dressed, I take my, I cut my music off. Because I, like, feeling the vibe of, like, the locker room, if that makes sense. I know some people that keep their headphones on. Pre-game warm-ups all the way until we get ready to walk out. I'm not that guy. Like even when we go out to warm up, I don't take my headphones out there either. Like, I just listen to like stadium music and whatnot because I feel like for me, it helps me just like in that moment type. But for the most part, though, I go gospel and then like chill, like chill, laid back, like rap, and then like when I get to the locker room, I listen to, like a couple of my my Lucci songs that I got to listen to, and then I cut on like my turn stuff. So like, right, so that's why I said different modes. See, when I was in uh when I was in school, it was no raw way. Yeah, was who you used to listen to? It was MGK. <laughs> MGK, no, MG, that MGK was nice. what? MGK what? MGK got hits. I thought you were talking about Machine Gun Kelly. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. MGK. Yeah, yeah MGK. Yeah. yeah, I'm not talking no. You know what MGK I'm talking about. Yeah, I thought you were talking about Machine Gun Kelly. I was about to say Absolutely. Okay, not. that's what we're doing. Absolutely not. Uh I used to listen to uh, Travis Porter. Travis Porter had hits though. Cause it give me like a like a like a not it ain't tra- and if y'all don't know Travis Porter is not like it ain't gangster music. It's, it's like it, it's, it's like, like equivalent to today's like whatever like the it's like like a dancing type. Music. Yeah, it, keep, it gets you like energetic like, energy. Yeah. It ain't it ain't yeah it don't get you upset. It don't get you mad. I used to listen to Travis Porter. Um, MGK a little bit harder. Uh, huh? But say what? <laughs> Can we say what? <laughs> hey, hey uh, bro, who else? You top to? tier, bro. With a couple of pause moments. You just said four in the last ten minutes. I said one, maybe. You just said MGK was harder. <laughs> that's crazy, fool. That's you just cr- said that's you play with him too. <laughs> Come on, what? Don't get no crazy in that. Bro, uh, I'm gonna put, put out your archives. So you NGK, said. who else? Who else? Who else? I used to listen to. Uh, I, I, I was one of those who wore my headphones the whole time. First, I can't do that, bro. The whole time, right I before can't. I go out, I put them down. and I go out there. I can't do that, bro. I don't know. Anyway, it wasn't like 
But a lot of people do that though. That Travi. It ain't even a zone in thing. It just, you know, I'll just be chilling. Speaking of rap, Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick. Good days, boy. Huh? Drake, Who J. Better? Cole, Kendrick. You know they've been quote unquote beefing. No, that's over with. I know. J. Cole's, he squashed it all. Being a bigger person. Uh, that's t- They really are low key. This is what I'll say. This is what I'll say. Drake's, of course, by far the most known. Drake makes the best music out of them, but Drake's not the best rapper out of them. Who's the best rapper? To me, J. Cole. I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. I ain't been messing with Kendrick ever since the, the damn album. Ever since then, I ain't care. The what? The, the damn album. That album was elite. That's what I'm saying. I ain't messed with him since. The last one he put out was good. I'm basically, let me say this. That was the last of Kendrick that I listened to. His last album was actually really good. Now, that RFE song, I'm like, what is he doing? That, 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 part, damn, that didn't, did sound like I'm, I'm not messing with it. The damn album was the last one that I was like, oh, yeah, this is hard. Yeah, that's a good album. This but, last was good, too. But, it ain't as good as, as the damn album, but it's good. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't think. Other than, like, the... That one song everybody was playing, the, the push them uh, niggas on me like, yeah. hmm. Other than that, I don't, I don't have a download on my phone though. He got, he got some good ones though. He do got some good ones. I, I give him that. But, but I think Cole, I think rapping, rapping like just straight bars, just rapping. J Cole, then Kendrick, then Drake, but making music and being able to to make a hit on multiple beats and. To collab with multiple type people, you gotta go Drake. See, Kendrick, like, uh, he reminds me a lot of like Kanye, where he does like production on his songs. <clears throat> he got a lot of extra stuff on his songs that kind of make the song, like, people be like, oh, that song's hard, where J. Cole just raps. He don't do all the semantics. Now, yeah. some people like the semantics, and then Drake, he makes he, hits, he raps. He makes music for. He knows I make music for different crowds. Yeah, he appeases to multiple crowds. He does a lot of semantics too. He do a lot of like um, talking before his song, mm-hmm. talking after his song. So he got a little bit of both of them. In. I I don't know who's who. I ain't even gonna say who's who. As far as who's better, because <clears throat> I like them all. But that's why that's why I put, that's why I said it how I said it. Like if if I need somebody to. To go collab. If I need somebody to make a radio song, if I need somebody to to make a song that's gonna go viral on social media or any form of that, or to make a good club song, I'm going with Drake. But if I need somebody to to make you think and I'd be like, bro, he really talking like some real stuff. It's between J. Cole and Kendrick, and I'm taking cause I, I'm taking J. Cole because I'm out of all those three, I'm a heavy J. Cole fan out of those three. I always been a, I always been a big J Cole, but I, mean, I like Kendrick too. I'm a big Kendrick fan too. I just wish they both put out more music. Yeah, they don't, especially Kendrick. He don't drop it all. Yeah, but usually when he drops, it's usually it's usually good though. I mean, it's, it's, it's usually it's usually pretty decent. I mean, but I don't know. But J Cole did spaz though for the quick little second that his uh, uh, probably because he spazzed too crazy. <laughs> I don't nah, know, he was man. trying to be a bigger person, though. I do, I, I get it. He trying to be a big person, but he even in his apology, he was saying how they cool. So maybe he felt like he went too hard, knowing that they. Cool. And, I, and, I, and that's what I, I seen something. I think I seen an interview of him talking about like. <laughs> Go ahead. See what I'm saying? He catches his own self. I seen an interview where they was basically saying like. He was basically saying like, bro. I'm more so concerned about relationships because like when it's all said and done, like this music stuff basically ends and I want to be able to be like, oh, bro, we all was cool. We all was able to hang out. We was all able to kick it in a sense. As a respect them, that. Yeah, as, as opposed to them having like whatever tension that they have over whatever it is. So, but they all three, they all three can go crazy in that studio though. A lot of people don't respect that though. 
a lot of people, but the, I feel like the ones that don't respect it though, I feel like that's a maturity thing. You know, I think I think, people, I think I think I think it's a faith thing too. Like it comes from a sense of like. I think people. I think if you go back to what you said a few episodes ago, I think people. Uh, where music is right now, music is just like down. Mm-hmm. People need something to get hype about, and this was their time to get hype. Yeah, so they're you know probably like, oh, like, so now they're like, man, because you know every rap beef is always like. It brings oh, entertainment. You got, you got, you got yeah, it, bring, you got it brings entertainment. Yeah. Well, now it's like, man, this fool don't even want to be. You lame, Cole. You 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 know a video that I seen somebody speaking on Who? that social media hates, but be speaking facts. Charleston White, he spoke on it and was just like, bro, like this probably, this probably the most like <laughs> sane I seen Charleston White hit a video, bro. <laughs> like the most chill. But that's why I said faith thing, because I seen his video. He basically was saying, like, don't quote me. Y'all go find the video. But basically was saying, like, I can respect J. Cole because, like, the people that are, like, are, like, close with, with, with God or, you know what I mean, in their faith or whatnot, they understand where he's coming from. Like, he's, he's coming from a place of, like, like love in a sense mm-hmm. and, and more so in a sense to where it's, like, Bro, I got. I'm gonna put a video, basically in a sense of like that. And I was like, what he was saying was making a lot of sense though, and I was just like, yeah, bro, like. And he was basically saying like a lot of people. Not, I don't know if he said like put their pride to the side or, or are not able to do that in a sense um, of what Cole did, and like he basically tips his hat off because a lot of people are gonna have that reaction that you were just saying like, oh, this nigga Cole, lame, bro, like. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, or what's been happening. But hey, it is what it is. The song was great while I was out for two days. Oh, it's still it's, it ain't out anymore. It's gone. I thought he, I thought he took it down. I don't know. I ain't checked, but I thought I thought they said. I like it that down. song. It was it was a good song. I like I like Kendrick version too. I like that few song. I keep y'all up time, fool. Fool, that Chick Fil A that we had today. That's probably what they shot up in the chicken now. I ate some salmon on the way here. I ain't big on salmon, bro. Don't be him, bro. You tripping? I'm a catfish type dude. You like catfish? Ah, I guess I like catfish from Tizzy's. Tiz Wynn. Shout out to Tiz Wynn. Midwest City. Out in Midwest City, but I love catfish. My mama. Hey, shout out to. I should make catfish uh, soup bro. Was it immaculate? Yeah, she did make some good catfish. Her and my papa probably made the best catfish. But yeah. See, I don't. I don't eat catfish a lot. I eat a lot of salmon though. I eat a lot of salmon and a lot of uh uh I eat tilapia. I eat tilapia too. Uh I eat a lot of the 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 fishes, like the white fishes. They label them as white fishes. Like I be forget like tilapia's a white fish. What's uh, yeah, what what's considered white? What is like a grouper? Groupers, groupers, another one. Groupers a white fish. Groupers are good. I never taste it, but I think my brother be eating. I think groupers a white fish. Snapper, red snapper. Don't eat red snapper. You ever had it, bro? I had one. I, I don't know if it was red snapper. Might have red snapper, bro. Out in was it Miami? Either Miami or L.A. It was one of them restaurants, bro, where they brought the whole fish. You had to cut it open, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna try. Like, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, fool. I took one bite, I said never again. It took it tasted too fishy. For me, if a fish tastes too fishy, and like for the ones that know that eat fish, you know, like if it doesn't like if it tastes like it just came out the water, bro, I'm cool off of it, bro. You I'm, mean sushi? Absolutely not. And they probably won't get on get on me for this, but I won't even try sushi. Me either. <laughs> we on the same page there. But my, my whole family loves sushi. Like my, my kids and my wife, they love sushi. I won't touch a sushi roll. We go to anything with sushi, I'm getting hibachi. But I think sushi is just like rice and I think I think this they have but they all people always, people always tell me, bro, they got because you know the, the narrative behind sushi is bro, you eat raw fish, but people be like, bro, they have cooked sushi. But I don't eat shrimp either. I eat shrimp depending on what type it is. No, I don't eat no shrimp. Sushi? Oh, see, I eat crab. I eat crab. I eat crab. I eat crab legs. Absolutely, and lobster. Mm, lobster and my mashed potatoes. potatoes. 
And like I, I, I eat lobster no matter what. I eat lobster fries, lobster, lobster. It don't really matter. What was that lobster sandwich we had in Vegas? It's called uh, Bro, that's this here. lobster me. It's a lobster on a on a. I don't know what kind of bun that was. It's on Kane's toast. It was ridiculous. That's what it is. That's yeah, how I'm ridiculous. gonna describe it to y'all right now. It's a lobster sandwich, but it's on Kane's. It's between two. Like you go to Kane's and get their toast. Put them it's, together. It put some lobster. That's what it is. And got the crust on the outside. Bro, it's so good. Yeah, it was ridiculous. It was that immaculate. Was so good. It really was immaculate. Gosh, dog, boy, that was good. Speaking of immaculate, tell them boys about the uh, Buffalo Burger joint. Hey, if y'all are in Fort Smith, listen here. If you know, if, hold on, let's, let me get this. If you're not around Georgia's, if Georgia's on the other side of town. Yeah. If you're around Georgia's, go to Georgia. First and foremost. But if you ain't next to Georgia's. If you're on the opposite side, of, if you're on the opposite side of town and you looking to get something for lunch, or you just craving a good burger, go to Buffalo Burger Company. It's a food truck. Yeah. And they got, how many they got? They got three, right? Then they said they got three? Yeah, it's like. They got like two stationary spots, though. One yeah. in Tackle Box, uh, over there by, uh, by, by Played Against Sports by play, and, and then, uh, the Pawn uh, Shop. And then Sutherland's, one in Sutherland's. Sutherland's, and then one drives around. Listen here. You talk about a very high quality, all around good burger, and the fries is go stupid yeah. too. Y'all make sure y'all tap in though, and they they only been open for what like six months. They said November of twenty twenty three. When we went, did they ask you if you wanted uh, buffalo or bison or beef? Didn't ask. Didn't care. They didn't ask you. Nope. They asked me. But, I don't know if he said bison or buffalo. But I like bison. Bison burgers. If you, I had a bison burger that's better than a regular. Like bison, if is very, it's like a very high quality taste. He said it's leaner. It is. It's very, it's very good too, though. I think bison I want to go hunting, bro. You, you're, you're not gonna make it. I just want. I don't want to go when it's cold. It's gotta be like sixty at least. Hunting season is when it's cold. If you're going deer hunting, I don't want. I want to go like buffalo hunting. You're not gonna make a twin. That's not your stilo. You gonna be in that state. You gonna, if, you gonna be in that. If I can be out there and get some patties, some burger patties. Hey, come on. I'm hey, but no, no, all. Hey, listen, y'all for sure. Yeah, it's really good. Um, please. It's bro. really good. I'm just, that, that's a very good burger. But hey, Georgia's is the OG though. If y'all know, y'all know. It's I ain't been in Georgia in so long. I haven't either. But you know another sleeper that I feel like I don't get enough love, Patrick's. It's not a sleeper. A lot of people in the city don't know about Patrick's, bro. Clip, yeah. A lot of people don't know. It's about actually it. hidden, and it's and, very, it's and they, very. They don't hidden. do any kind of promotion. promotion yeah. But neither do Georgia's. Because Georgia's is the OG. Everybody know about Georgia's. Yeah, Georgia's good. But Patrick's, Patrick's is good. definitely like you can't even like you can't even see it off the main road. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> it's like yeah, you got to know where you're going to get the. Yeah, package. it's like super tucked off. Even when you pull into that little plaza, like into that little area, you still got to know like it's still tucked off back there. Yeah, you got to know what's going on. Dang, bro, I'm thinking about a good burger. Oh, we the, we tripping though. What? Tell me what you rocking today? Cause we just had to force the convo, and I see you got our forces today. <laughs> Nice and clean, dude. Come on, Twin. You keep going crispy, huh? Man, I don't know. I don't know what they be talking about. This is the best white shoe there is. You know what I'm saying? Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they we will be dropping them soon too, though. No cap. It's pretty simple with me, man. I'm chilling day. I don't feel good, man. I'm kind of sick. I think, my son, that shit in my house. I think breathing got me sick. We all we got. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I get sick, you get sick, man. Yeah, man. I just, I just think you had the forces on, twins. So I had to make sure you let them know what you had on today. Yeah, yeah man. You, it don't, yours don't got to be like this. But they don't need to be like this. That's what they don't need to be like. I should have put mine on. I'm, I'm super they're, my, they're my favorite Yeezys, though. I, need, I, want, I want a pair. These low-key. We talking about dirty. These low-key. Like my little AP shoes. All-purpose shoes. Yeah, you never wore, you wore them three times. <laughs> That's cap. But no, nah, I am. You, bro, maybe it's the weather or something, bro, because you talking about you, I've been super sleepy. Even at workouts this morning, bro, I was like sleepy. But 
uh, little chrome on the hat. People, ain't know what is that? Little chrome hard hat. Chrome hard is expensive too. Or it's kind of falling off. Still expensive. <laughs> uh, rude hoodie on. Excuse me for being rude. Hello. Uh, some gallery sweats. What's the most expensive brand now? It's still one of the. I feel like it's still one of the designer brands. It's it's hard. I feel like that's a hard question to answer because a lot of stuff is like super hard to even get on like retail prices. Everything is all resale prices, and resale prices are turned all the way up. So I feel like for that question, you got to say like. So what's what? a gallery retail price? I've never got gallery retail. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Like I've never been able to. Matter of fact, like, let me not even say never. Been, I don't even try to get gallery retail. Yeah, it's hard getting. I know shoes wise, ain't no it's tough, bro. It's shoes. tough. But yeah, little gallery sweats, and then these the five hundreds. I think the easy five hundreds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my AP. I, like, I like the blue ones too. Call me. Call these the all purpose joints. Yeah, I'm chilling. I was sleepy, bro. Hit this prime. It's the fun. weather, man. Shout shout out to uh, the Paul brothers. They be showing me love. I don't even know this. This they brand though. You know that, huh? This is Logan Pauls. But yeah, they sent me these joints. That's sweet, huh? That junk sweet, boy. I mean, I ain't even tried it yet. I'm gonna just try it real quick. I nice. taste the one that's like the the bomb pop. The blue, it, the blue, red, and white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of, ah, ah. that's a lot of sugar it ain't a bad taste this strawberry banana is really not not a bad taste it's just sweet I think that's Gatorade ain't even that sweet I don't really care for Gatorade no. we just talked about me and the homies just talked about this like yesterday I like speaking Powerade of, or Gatorade speaking of Lowe's he the one that told me he's like bro y'all talk about that on the pod what Gatorade or Powerade I'm Powerade they're all like I'm taking Powerade over Gatorade Absolutely. Gatorade or Powerade. Conversation over. That was quick. <laughs> Duh. Now nah, Gatorade good, man. It's just too sweet, bro. It's too sweet, too sweet, bro. Powerade got just enough sweetness. And it's a dollar cheaper. I got the big large joint from Chick-fil-A today. That Powerade we hit. Hey, you seen them the uh, drinks at Chick-fil-A? The, the, se the seasonal ones? The who? The seasonal ones? What, what season was oh, that? Oh, they was up there. I'm going to go, I'm gonna have to go back and try them. What kind they got? I don't know. It's like cherry something. They had like four drinks in a row. It was on the... I, I was going to try it, but I was like, it was too cold now. I had to get up out of there. They did have the air cranking in that joint. They had to get up Maybe because you know how you fresh out of workouts, you sweating and stuff too, though. All right, so look, I'm trying to avoid this conversation, but it's time to be had. What? We think about the game, championship game. <laughs> I one first and foremost, I said South Carolina was gonna win it all. We said that was, we, on, our, yeah, I, was on our bracket. Let yeah. me not even say me. We said South Carolina was gonna win it all. We did our bracket. I think um, Don Staley showed her her legend, her legend status by showing how good of a coach she is with the defense adjustments and the, everything she did. For Caitlin Clark, and I think the game went exactly how I thought it was going to be. I, honestly, like for for me, I thought it went exactly how I thought it was going to go. If they can contain Caitlin, which they did, the Raven Johnson girl played. She really should have been on her from the jump. Yeah. Uh, old girl got in foul trouble. They put Raven Johnson on her, and she really Caitlin didn't do nothing with. Like she had them eighteen come back. That's people don't know. They they look at the stats and she she had thirty, but she had eighteen in the first quarter. What she exploded in the first quarter. So you do the math. She finished the game with thirty. And she had eighteen in the first quarter, and then they put Raven Johnson on her. The girl played it. So, so y'all do the math. She played a good game, man. She just who? Caitlin played good. I, I don't. I don't no. listen. I don't want that y'all to get mixed up or twisted. We don't hate Caitlyn. I don't hate Clayton. He don't. He don't she, hate. She. She. She re. She like. She brought a uh, a much needed light to not even women's basketball, but the women's sports world in the whole. Like she definitely like a legend. 
I I view her as more of just a shooter than a pure scorer. Now, I do think that um strong. You know, she kind of showed how well she could shoot the ball, especially in that first quarter, but I also think it showed how well um or the lack of I guess bag she has. Mm-hmm. Um, because she not if she's not going left and shooting, if she's not going right and laying it up, it ain't much more that she's not much more. Ain't she much more than she, yeah, she, she, can. she can't, she won't, or she hasn't shown that she will go right and shoot. I think that kind of messed her up. You know and what I'm saying? And because if you get the scouting point, it's, it's, it's that's kind what of they easy said. Yeah, they said she go left, she pull, and that's not that, like you, like you just said, that's not us minim, minimizing, you know what I mean? Because every girl can't. Absolutely. No, no girl can shoot how she can. Absolutely. I think that's very evident. Um, but I think some people get wrapped up into the like sometimes people gotta like take a approach from an unbiased standpoint and be like, all right, let's really break this down and like look at what's happening. And, and what what was happening is they make her go right. She not shooting. I'm honestly, bro. She was going right, and she was throwing that joint up, and and was hoping for the fouls. The scout report. The the, the crazy thing hoping about the foul. whole thing. The scout report rang true the whole tournament. No, remember we watched the game before. It was, it's crazy after we had her. Was. After we had her, they say like, bro, if y'all watch like this, whoever did the scout report thing, we watched the UConn game. The announcer's the one who said it. Right. That's why I was like, and wait, that's what? why. That's why. That's why I was upset with Kim Mulkey. But that's a different conversation because they are, if we being completely honest, they didn't help Helly Van Lift at all. They did not at all. She didn't get any help. You can't you can't take a shooter like her and go under screens. And then go under screens or, or not hedge. Exactly. Not hedge. You can't back up to the to the foul line and expect her not to shoot. You crazy? Because the one, one thing she hurt. does have, she does have a great step back. And and she and her she got limited range. And her release is yeah. perfect. Like she can shoot over almost anybody. If she gets to that that little lean to the left, it's most of the time going in. Now I didn't want Iowa to win. I wanted South Carolina to win, but you know she she is a she is ninety eight percent of their team though. They do have they do have some some but, talent on their team. But, and this is what I remember we but had we, we, we had the same we had this talk. Um, maybe when I was at your house watching the game, and I was or before then, I was like, bro, if Kaitlyn doesn't score thirty to forty on a consistent basis. She doesn't. I think. I, now I think that even shows off her greatness even more because it's like she consistently can put up thirty to forty, but not taking anything away from. But like she doesn't. I think the only one that gives her consistent help is 20. twenty. Yeah, she can hoop. Forty five. She had a game here and there, but like yeah. on a consistent basis, game. like on South Carolina, Cardosa can can have a game where she had five points and they gonna they could still win. Kaylin Clark can't have fifteen points yeah. and. Be, Almost versus any team. She can't team. go eight for thirty. She can't, and, and they win. She can't do it, and I think it showed that championship game because they didn't. Twenty gave her a little bit of help, but like her little surrounding cast, they wasn't. They weren't hitting. Those, they weren't. Everybody has off nights, but they weren't hitting their shots. They weren't. And honestly, I don't think they can. Her surrounding cast can create shots. Like everything comes from Caitlin. Yeah, that's true. She she did she does create a lot, and that's what I'm saying, man. She she's an excellent player. She is for sure. I think. This all I think this you know this upcoming season, man. She got to show more what she can do. She gonna be the first pick to inside Indi- inside Indiana, the three point line. Indiana Fever for sure, but I still stand firm on what we said last episode. I think Paige is the best all around. Absolutely, uh, women's basketball college player. For I sure. think Juju's the best overall scorer. I think Kaylin's the best shooter. She by far the best shooter though, by far. Mm-hmm. Stand on that. What about uh, what you think about? Uh, like we don't ever talk about NBA. But it's a lot of people around this area who are, you know, now Thunder fans. They've not been Thunder fans before. We think mm-hmm. about OKC. They're gonna they're gonna make a big push, or what? I hope they do for just for the just for the city alone for for Zay and Jalen. You feel me? I hope they do. Um, so of course, with that take, that's you know, of course, bias because you know, one, you know, Zay mm-hmm. are that's our dog anyway, and then both of them from the city, same high school. Um, but bro, I, I I like how Shea got him going though, bro. But this the question though, and you watch NBA more than I do. Is that gonna be enough for a long playoff run? I just think that because this is what I'm comparing to. This, 
Now, it reminds me a lot of Iowa only because he shoots. He shoots a 90% lot. Of the he time. shoots a lot, bro. And he shoots a lot. When he doesn't play, they're a lot more efficient. They usually win when he doesn't play. They win when he does play, but they yeah. also win when he doesn't play, which shows that they can score without him. I think the only way they make a long run is they, if Shea continues to do what Shea does, because he don't miss much. Mm -hmm. But get more people if involved. If he finds, if he if he becomes more of a playmaker off his ability, they mm -hmm. can make a long run. Because they got, and, and, and what I like about him, bro, they're young, bro. Especially with Chet. Chet can hoop. Bro, he can hoop. He can, he's a rim protector. Even Jalen. All the Jalen. Even, even Both are the Jalen from yeah, here, too. Even, yeah. But I'm, and I'm like, rim wise, Jalen from here and Chet be holding down. And then the other Jalen is a bucket. Yeah, yeah, he is. Number he eight. Is, he is. He's a bucket, bro. Um, they I, got a chance. I'm, I'm, cur I'm curious to see, though. But the thing is about young teams like that, bro, and with like situations like that. <clears throat> What are the Warriors sitting at right now? I think 10. So they have to have a play-in play game to get in? 7 through 10, dude. If, seven the, if the Warriors get in and the Thunder run into the Warriors, I think it because – this is what I'm going to compare it to. I think the Warriors are like how the Chiefs was this year. Like the team, they ain't really doing too good in the season, but they got seasoned yeah. vets. They'll always have a they shot. They'll always have a shot because they, they got, got Steph Draymond, Curry. They got Steph. They got, they usually have a, a solid core of guys who play defense and they play the right way. Steve Curry, Steve Curry know how to play. And that's what, that's the only thing that I will say is that if it gets, if they see them in the playoffs, it, it, it might, but I'm, I'm rooting And the whole league scared of Draymond. But Draymond Hall just slap you right in the face. He be tripping, bro. <laughs> just slap the taste out your mouth. For that, you, you see him set the screen yesterday? He, he grabbed, he grabbed Draymond like Russell. this. Like, fool, you can't do that. Who can't? Who did they call something? He can't do that, fool. Draymond can. You see, they ain't caught nothing. He's about to stab her. He's about to stab you. Bro, what's about wrong with Paul bro? bro. Yeah, bro. I, I, they, they, they got play, a shot. Playoffs start when? Two, like a week and a half, two weeks. Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calipari? That's what Arkansas need? I... It depends on it depends on Arkansas I want. Because think everybody knows what Calipari is, not, what Calipari is known for. He's known for developing NBA players. Yeah, if you think about winning the championship, he ain't the one. The admission. That's not what's going to happen. Now, if you want, if you want, if you want nah. people to come in and put on a show for one year, yeah. and one or two years and go to the league, then he's a perfect coach. You're going to go uh, round of 32, sweet 16, but that's it. That's what Kentucky is And that's there you going on that show off sheer talent. There ain't going to be no defense play. That's what, so who's going to be uh, – who Kentucky going to hire? They got Buddy from Baylor. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he gone already. <laughs> now I don't know who Baylor gonna get, but they got buddy. I don't know. I'm curious to see. About Kentucky, the, Kentucky be fine though. I'm curious to see about Arkansas. I think it helps the recruiting scene. You know how much, how much NIL money they got? Mm -mm. Five M's for NIL. And bas just basketball. Basketball is only 15 players. Just basketball. You know the 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 first the highest before that was what? Kentucky. Guess how much? Two M's. He got okay. three extra M to give away just for basketball. Up in Fayetteville. In Fayetteville. Hey, son. Oh. Get your handles right. <laughs> get your handles right. I think it's not going to be on Dixon shit. What? What? Five M's? Five. And bas people, basketball team is only 15 players. So you give, your, you give your top five the heavy chunk, but everybody on the team can make a good little bag. That's a lot of money, man. Everybody on the team can make a good little bag. That's a lot of money. But you know they uh they are uh they send a lot of a lot of the cats that he has gonna come with him from Kentucky. Yeah, that might be good for Arkansas though. Yeah, because what I will give Arkansas fan they loyal even though Arkansas yeah, they be, be, they be, be having, trash. They be having it uh, packed they, out. Bud Walton be jumping though. They they are loyal. I will say that. But I don't know though, bro. I mean, you just gotta understand what you're getting into. Know your personnel. You, you know he he ain't trying to have them, them cats stay for years. That ain't gonna happen. And that's what I'm saying. So maybe they maybe they knew that, and maybe they like all right. But the thing the thing that that I don't under, I guess I understand, but I don't understand because Calipari don't get transfers. He get freshmen. And and one and duns. He get freshmen. They he get the best freshmen. They come in the hoop and they leave. He don't really get. Look at Billingham. I know. Rob was a problem. Gone. 
Uh, so, Reese Shepard's supposed to be gone too, though. Gone. That's going to be top 10 picks. Out of there. They're going to love Fayetteville, though. They're going to love Fayetteville. Mm hmm. Dixon is going to be burnt down. <laughs> Dixon is going to be burnt down. Yeah. Cali Parker made a lot of money to the University. That's good, though. They said Nick Saban coming back to be Arkansas coach. Yeah, For real. I'm not hearing that. Yeah, they said he was, uh, I guess, like, during the clips, he was in the Wu Pig Sue. He was what? Doing the Wu Pig Sue. This, this nigga just be making stuff up, bro. Do you watch the clips? Jordan was cool, and was, bro. It was kind of straight, bro. Yeah, hey, let me know if y'all watch the clips. For, I'll tell you, my uh, street lights came on and everything. Yeah, I thought it was going to be lame. I was like, that's a stupid song. Remember I texted the group? It was kind of straight. I texted the group like, bro, hey, this shit ain't even doing nothing. Yeah. Then I'm sitting in the crib. I'm like, man, come on, it was what, like two and a half. And remember, it was OC sunny that day. It, it was, was hot. Hot and like the sun was beaming yeah. that morning. And then I'm sitting in the crib and like it just started getting dark. I said, oh, this joint actually going. Like, it's actually it got dark fast too. Quick. And I looked up there and that joint was covered. I said, oh, this joint's smooth. Because when I went, when, when it started to get shady a little bit, I was like, let me look. And then you could see it. And I was like, it's kind of hard a little it bit. Is, bro. Bro. It's kind of hard. And then I think it's even cool like how then 10 minutes later it was back sunny. Yeah. Z made a good point. <clears throat> My daughter, she made a good point. She said, people who work the night shift, if they didn't know about it and they woke up, they woke up and it was dark and I'm like, oh, I'm, late. I'm late for work. Ooh, that is a good point. That is sick. sick. Then they'll be like, why is it sunny again? <laughs> <laughs> a twilight zone, they're right? They'll be like, nigga, what? They'll throw them all off. You know they, you know they say uh, people got their powers now on a solar eclipse. <laughs> That's what they say, bro. What powers, bro? Like, bro, you know how, like, superpowers, bro? That what they say, bro. People, they said. If you was outside for the solar eclipse, you got your superpowers. I already had superpowers. What superpowers you got? You believe you dunk at five foot nine. That's what I've never seen you I've never seen you touch the rim. So you didn't see me jump another day? <laughs> I've seen you jump it, but I've never seen you, I've never seen you so touch you the rim. You ain't seen me jump high enough where I can touch the rim. I just ain't put my hand up there. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, man. Good try, man, that, bro. You was that kid that <laughs> every time I go for a layup, you slap for the backboard. <laughs> hard. Oh, see, hard. Fire! <laughs> bro, I'm really an elite athlete, bro. You don't still, let, you don't still, let you nobody still, tell you otherwise. Nah, you still got it for sure. I was sure, once man. extremely elite. You still got it for sure. I'm definitely still elite, though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all believe me? Pull up. Pull up eight, uh, 806, 808 <clears throat> Rutgers Road. Pull up. Walk in the door, you might you might see me doing something like standing standing on the rim. You never know, you know what I'm saying? You know oh, we got some good hoop sessions in though. I've really been in there hooping on this. It's really been you. Now that I think about it, because you've been guarding me. Now that I see her analyze the situation, you have been guarding me, and I have been scoring a lot of points. Yeah, we've been scoring a lot on each other. Don't say we. This thing had one. You had one game with six points, and now that's a lot of scoring a lot. That's not consistent. That's not consistent at all. I've consistently been averaging to games of 20, y'all. Not on me. Not on me. You calling a switch on me? Okay. <laughs> there's not no, there's no switch. Right. There's... Absolutely not. It's like the game winning. We didn't close out. Why you close out? Because we don't respect your shot. You <laughs> better. We don't respect your shot. We had, to, we had to guard Tev like Caitlin Clark. Hey, oh, who, and who's, uh, who's number 20? <laughs> My Please, fault. Stop playing. Fool, I do this to him, Tev know who to pass it to? I do this to him, y'all. Shout out to Ted. Ted knew who to pass to. This to him, y'all. You know what they say with me and Ted on the court? He's Steph, not Monte Ellis. Why would you even make that's a crazy analogy? Why? You're not Monte Ellis, fool. Why not? Give, give, your, give your real life player comp. I'm, For I, me, I'm, a player, a basketball player comp. Real life. So many options. <laughs> it's not. Oh, there is. Just it's, so many options. Player comp for real, for real? Let me give you one for you first. I asked for you. All right. NBA player comp for me is, let me see, probably like P.J. Tucker. You know what I'm saying? I play defense, lockdown defender. I'll give you that. Lockdown defender. I'll give you that. You know what I'm saying? I stand in the corner. I, you know, I, let, I, I, let, I let Tev do his thing. Kick it to me. Rebound. You know what I'm saying? Rebound when I got to. That just makes it like you just be. You be, you be, you be shooting that bitch lately, though. I'm, I'm, about, I'm about 37% three-point shooter. Nah, it's Huh? That's crazy. Leave me open tomorrow. 
I will. I, you know I am. <laughs> you know I am. I don't even know why you oh, said that. You know it's I am. Be raining threes, <laughs> <laughs> bro. No, nah, I'm like, you had. I don't know. Like, Come on, man. I don't know. While I was gone, I before, fixed my. I had to fix my I shot. I ain't gonna lie. Ever since I got home, though, for off season four, you you've been, you've really been catching. Zay voice. fixed my shot. Shout out to Zay. Shout out my dog. He fixed my shot. Hey, actually, actually, not, Derek Jones. Was elbow not tuck? Are you wasn't flicking? No, I wasn't. Sh- Zay shoots on the way, like he shoots on the way up. You shoot on the way down. I was just sh- just shooting that mug, <laughs> <laughs> just strictly shooting that mug. I wasn't shoot. So I like, I I like, I was using way too much here to try to shoot the ball, and not enough here. So now I get into my, if I get into my leg, if I don't get into my leg, you can always tell because it's always long. Yeah. The shot's long. <laughs> if I get into my legs, it's going in. You've been consistently casting them guns. Who your NBA comp? Who's going to say he's going to get a couple of He's going to try to low balls. No, no. I probably somebody like, uh, I go buddy from the Bucks. Who? Bochamp. I don't know who that is, so no. He be hooping, though. He just don't start. I'm like Bo a- Bochamp be hooping. I'm like a- I used to be like Kimba. Kimba who? Walker. I used to be like Kimba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be for real right now. I used to China like- Kimba? No, no, Charlotte Hornets, Kimba. Oh, that's crazy. I used to be like Kimba. Who are you now? But now, cause oh, I get I get downhill. You know, you know, I get, you know, I get downhill. I don't know that. That's crazy. Go ahead. I get downhill. You go know, ahead. I come off a screen. I'm getting downhill. Oh, please, who you? Who? I'm more of like a. I'm gonna give you a real. I'm not. I'm not trying to gas myself. <laughs> yes, this, is, this means he's about to gas. Go ahead. Who are you? Who's your NBA comp? I can go so many different ways. Think I'll say somebody though. like Giannis. <laughs> Who's I'm, your NBA comp, bro? I can, I can create my own shot. I can get downhill. I can dunk. I play defense. This nigga say NBA. I ain't nah. I could I could give myself that. No, you can't. Why I can't? I do everything that he does. I just don't jump as high. That's probably it. You seen that movie? He pivoted like eight times. That was tough. But nah, you nah. All seriousness though, though, I'm like a like Kelly Uber. Nah, bro. I'm like a. Uh... You about to say Devin Booker was you? Nah. Oh. I'm like a Jalen Brunson. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no. I, I, after the Jalen Brunson. No, more like Derek White. I, 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 no, absolutely not. I'm a swag after... and everything, Derek White. <laughs> Stop playing with me. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> Haircut, no. <huh? laughs> Nah, but your player comp. Let me see. Let me th- let nah, me think about. I'm an athletic about. Jalen Brunson. Nah, I'm athletic Malcolm Bo- Malcolm Brogdon. I give you Brogdon. I'm, I give you Brogdon. I'm athletic Malcolm Brogdon. I give you Brogdon. Brogdon's athletic. What are you talking about? But he not getting a butter rim. How I'm getting a butter rim? Brogdon will dunk on you. You right? But you I, can't dunk. You're crazy. Right. You can dunk. For some, you know I can dunk. How would I know that? You've seen you've seen clips of me dunking. No, I haven't. I'll show you. Who you when you dunk? You dunk how many times you dunk in your life? I dunk a few times. I got a high school. I you was got, dunking. You got a highlight dunk in highlight. <laughs> I got, but I got, I'm about to say. I got an N one dunk in high school on two dudes. Okay, it's a putback. No cap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Mike in the room another day. Matter of fact, ask all the homies. Ask tomorrow. Ask the homies tomorrow. I'm not gonna do that. I got a video. I didn't see it myself. Show me a video. All right, what's going to get done? Yeah, show, show it to everybody else, too. Show That's fine. I will put it on there. Yes. That's fine. We'll see. Right. I, I, I give you Michael Brown and like Cameron Payne. Is that what? Fool, how you just dog Cameron Payne in the gym and then go try to give me that comp? Fool, absolutely not. I said I was like Cameron Payne, but I was wrong. You shoot like Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne can shoot I'm a little bit. Malcolm Brogdon, fool. I just told you who I am. All right. Who's better, Brogdon or Brogdon. Derek White? Brogdon. And then some some days when I'm like in that bag bag in that mode, I got it. I'm like Ant. I'm like Ant. Who's Ant? <laughs> Edwards. And the Edwards. And then what they call him? Ant Man. When I'm in yeah, that. Yeah, that's what they call. Him. <laughs> when I, when Man, I, that's what they call him. It be that like North like like at Northside Saturday. I was I was no. in, I was in that no. Ant. It was bad. Yeah, Ant would never get the ball stolen like you did. I, who's he got one still on me, y'all. He said, hey, this how this how you this how you know you like you feel me. People like 
when you got people like this that that love to glorify off your he name, was talking all this junk the whole game bro. I got this I got that. he had six points he had he had seven points he had a three he had seven points and two layups on somebody else see how you do they were on somebody else what you want from me did, did what I not, was in transition did I not baby fooled you mm. no no that, you did that not. wasn't that game no you wasn't did push off though yes you did tell the nigga to do some push ups y'all but it's tell, fine we want to push up every night fool. Oh Jesus Christ, he can't mess with me. Oh Jesus Christ, he know he can't mess with. Me. For it ain't he can't beat me in nothing. You can't. You're not faster than me. That's not true. You for sure can't beat me a hoop. I'm y'all. He he don't want to see me a hoop. For I promise you. What's the first? What's, what's 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 the first? King of the court. Three dribbles. Win. I don't even need three dribbles. Twin, you're not suited like that to be. <laughs> I don't need three dribbles. Oh All I need is this one. Power dribble. Step back. <laughs> Power dribble. Step back. I don't need three dribbles. Your your step back is like Brian. And that's just not getting nobody. Derrick Joe, he fixed my shot. Power dribble step back. So you're not shooting over me though. Yeah, why you 6'4? It's 5'11. I'm 6 foot fool. And my, with my, and then with my, I'm 5'11 my, with, his, uh, with his chunky shoes on. What is that? Yeah, I hate it. Hey, I'm 5'11, five, I'm five, 3 fourths without shoes on. With basketball shoes on, I'm 6'1. We'll play, we'll play pig for the camera. That's my first one. I gotta let my legs recuperate first. It jumped a lot yesterday. We did, fool. That joint, that joint low key took me out. Oh, that jump That's why my legs hurt so bad. That jumping took me out yesterday. But I was, but I like sometimes I forget how explosive I am. So I'll be having to like, I'm being for real, bro. Oh yeah, 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 right, right. So yeah, I, was, I went up there yesterday. He was up there. Come on, come on, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna catch a oop for the dunk one time. <laughs> oh. I'm, no, no joke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it one time. Don't wear nothing else with nobody else. I hope you do. My I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all. It was like a little rim graze, a little put back in high school. Oh, now it was a rim graze. Yeah, but it was over two people. I had to like reach. Oh, let me see. Put, hey, put it on the whistle name, bro. You don't got an N one put back. You're right. I don't. Duncan, Duncan's been that's easy though. I've been doing this for for a minute. The only thing you will probably beat me in is who my NFL comp? Probably like Christian McCaffrey, something like that. CMC is crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. NFL. Nah, if, if I was nah, in the nah. league, I'd probably be I'd probably be a slot receiver. My fault. Nah, I'd be nah, a you 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 probably like. <sighs> we about to get we about to get real real. No, oh, I'm not. Probably like Frank Gore. Oh yeah, yeah, you right. Yeah, you right, bro. You right. The back half of his career. <laughs> <laughs> he, still, he still had thousand. Though. He he still had thousand. Hey, if like, I was in league, if I was in league, y'all 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 kind of both compact. You like Frank Gore? Bro, I got great hands. Though. You like Devin Singletary? Yeah, you right. You right. Mixed for like CMC. You you want that CMC, don't you? Nah, nah, nah. I I I, I would I would. But you can rather, catch though. I'll give that. You I would much catch. rather play. Uh, I will, if, if I if I in a dream scenario I play slot, I'd be like three about three inches tall. I play slot. You can catch Sousa. I will, yeah. I think I go crazy in the slot. Come once I get that ball is over with. That slot, that, that boy, it's a lot of space in that slot. When you, when you guard in that slot, listen here. But it's cool though, yeah. Yo, basketball comp though. I I don't know, twin. I just told you, bro. PJ Tucker. I was I was I was feeling the PJ Tucker one, but then the shooting though, twin. PJ can shoot. He, PJ can shoot. He in that right, corner. Sometimes he, not he go games without attempting a shot. Yeah. And you do that. I could never. Listen, I, I my, games team, my team know I have to touch the ball for us. I go games without attempting a shot, but I don't care. As long as as long as you playing good back. My team knows I have to touch the ball to win. No way. On your on your end, ah. That's what? why. They're they're fine with icing you out. They can't ice me out. So I need to record stats tomorrow. <laughs> Please record. I will. Please record. Uh, they're like, why does this game take so long? This nigga run over every every two seconds to the pen and paper. They like, this nigga used to never shot this much. Come on, bro. It's cool though. I got another one. What? Who you think would win? Me. Let me finish the. Oh, you want? I thought you were talking about us. Go ahead. Never mind. Kobe. Go ahead, bro. No, nah, we already talked about that. I was I was gonna say not who you think would win, who you think would be better flipped. But we already talked about that before. What football basketball? Yeah. Absolutely. 
But with any competition though, you 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 not fooling, you not messing with me. You never, you didn't beat me, y'all. You know how we talked. I don't know if y'all seen. He wanted to go bowling, killed him in bowling. No, you didn't. <clears throat> yes, I did. At eight oh eight one eight. Fool, I wasn't even bowling for. I couldn't even bowl for real. That's, that that doesn't count. Killed him. That's crazy. That's crazy. He so, don't. He's scared to race me. That's crazy too. And games to twenty. I'm averaging eight points on him. That's even That's crazy. almost half the team's points. Ain't nobody averaging eight points on me in the last 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing. On the video game, nothing. Who better in duty? You got that one. You got that one. You on that one. Hey, ain't nobody better than hey, you got that one. Yeah. Come on. It's fair. I, I try to do a little something. You on that one. We got five. Who better? Days. Who better? Zay, uh, Zay, last time we saw him in CD. I love Zay to death. Because they was this, on that. This this nigga CT is this, this nigga had 25 yesterday. We was on yesterday. What you had, twenty? What you had? 25? 25 we was going stupid, we going stupid, bro. 25 kills is crazy. And my 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 PR is only only like 21, 22. And Call of Duty? Mm-hmm. 25 is insane. I was on pace though, bro. The, the night before last. Who's lobby with y'all in? D's? Oh, my was it my lobby? My it was 25 year lobby even crazy. <laughs> and I was on my PC. That's even that's even ridiculous. Yeah, I was on pace that ridiculous. uh the night the night before when me, you, DC, and Khan was on. Bro, I had 17, well, like 15 people left. And we end up losing. I was sick. Cause you know how you know when you on like a, a burner when you like, oh yeah, I'm finna go crazy. Maybe some, maybe some. Hey, at, as, as, as CT though, we had a random first game on. We was waiting on D to get He was on. going crazy, D? Hey, shout out to, <laughs> hey, hey, Pete, if you're somewhere in this world, man, let's hear it. It was Pete something. His name was Pete. And it's funny, because me, CT, and DC, and then Pete. <laughs> so, you know, we dropped the control. We marked, Pete marked somewhere else. We, nah, Pete. We in a bike, nah, Pete. We not going there, fool. We go to control, Pete. He ain't saying nothing, though. Like, he didn't say a word the whole game. Fool, I remember landing, being on the ground. You know how, like, the first couple of minutes of the game yeah, is everybody, hectic. Yeah, everybody. Fool, I checked. Pete already had five off rip, right? I'm like, damn, Pete low key going crazy. First game on, he ended, he ended with, like, 15. And we got a dub. Stop playing. But y'all, y'all, y'all got to add him after that, bro. We didn't. <laughs> I ain't going to hurt you. You get on tonight? Absolutely. Probably not. Take my kids, go ahead. I, I, I want. I, well, I got to touch on this real quick before, before we uh, before we wrap up. So you know, buddy, the coach from UConn, Dan Hurley. Mm-hmm. Uh, is he kidding to Bobby Hurley? Yes, his brother. Okay. So Bobby Hurley coach, I think at Arizona State, or mm-hmm. maybe I think Arizona State. So he said, he said, he said it today. Actually, he was like. Uh, I don't know verbatim what he said. <clears throat> some of it I do, some of it I don't. He said, we look at the parents. Are you a parent that's going to be a parent to your kid? Or are you a parent who is going to blame the coach when your son isn't getting enough playing time or this or that? And then blame the coach for it? Or are you going to hold your son accountable? Are you asking me if when I have kids? This is what he said. That's, I feel like he, he said a very valid statement. Have you, ever, have you ever been in a situation where you've had to or you've seen somebody say, my son ain't playing because coach? Happens all the time. And I know for, for me, I've been blessed on my journey to where, you know what I mean, I've, you know, I play a lot or whatnot. Um, been blessed being on most teams, the top guy, so I'm playing or whatnot. But even like if it was in a situation like that, I know for me, my parents ain't having it. Like, no, nah, we finna go get this work in. You finna woody woody woo. Like, we not finna point fingers. Like, no, nah, it's obviously it's something that you're not doing right. But I, I've grown up with. I've seen. Um, even in college, bro, you see it still. But no, nah, the, the coach ain't. Oh, but fool, you you late to workouts. 
for you, you, you get in trouble with the class checkers. You not, you, you really not performing on the field or whatever the sport is. Um, now, are there some instances to where it's like, dang, like you, it's just bad timing for a person. I do I, feel like that's true, but I feel like a lot of the times, though, a lot of a lot of times, and I don't, I, I don't want to sound like no no asshole. Excuse my language, but like, I don't like those parents that are quick to, oh, my son or my daughter not playing because yeah, I, I, think I don't, you I don't should, like that, bro. I don't like that. As a parent, you got to look at the whole the whole the whole thing. Yeah. Go back and evaluate your kid first. Then if you're like, okay, this ain't making sense. Then you go talk to the coach, get the coach's opinion before you just like, no, my kid didn't do this. Yeah. Cause maybe the coach like, man, listen, three weeks ago, your kid was late to class. Uh, you you might not know that cause the kid ain't gonna tell he you that. He ain't gonna tell you that. Cause what you gonna do? You gonna jump down his or her throat. Yeah. So assess the kid first. For instance, even in even in school, if your kid is, your kid don't have a good grade in school. Okay, the first thing naturally, like me, I'm like, why you ain't doing your work? What's going on? Yeah, it's not man, the teacher <laughs> tripping now. Once you go talk to the kid, what's going on? Well, I'm I'm asking for help, and the teacher saying I ain't helping. Okay, well look, we're gonna go talk to the teacher, me and you. Yeah. So now ain't no lie. Can you can't tell no lies now? We all here. We all here. Teacher get it saying something, son get it saying something, or daughter get it saying something. Then you find out the answers. I just never felt like. I just don't ever. Cause I've I've honestly seen it since like junior high, high school, uh, college. Then I will put a butt behind there. That's not, but that's not even crazy. But we have put a butt. Okay. Anyways, you all know what I'm saying. I want, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read you one more when you get done. Go ahead. I think though. There, there, and I also have seen. <laughs> there has been, ch- like times where it's like the kid, like the that person, that kid, that athlete, just catches a bad break. It's like, bro, they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing. They're performing, and you know, maybe bad timing. Or I ain't lie, there had there are some instances too, though. It's where it's just like, like, damn, bro, it's just bad luck for you. Like it's just, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's I think true. I think eight out of ten times though, it's the opposite. Like, the kid did something. I got one. All right. Problem is, tell me what you tell me what you think about about these. All right. This is the this is the quote. The problem is, y'all got league dreams with backyard effort, and your that's, parents applauded. That's Don Staley. I know that quote. And your parents applauded. That's true. That's a true story. I see it. I feel like you, I feel like you can you can attest I to that. I see it all more. the time. You got a little bit of effort and the This what? No joke. Listen, it happened today. For real? I ain't I ain't gonna I ain't gonna speak I ain't gonna say too much about the situation. But it did. Because if Ah, he ain't watching. It don't matter. Listen. These kids, they do a little bit and think they've done a lot. That's what I was finna, I was finna say. I'm you do finish. the bare minimum and think that you're really doing something. You ain't doing nothing, bro. You ain't doing nothing. I. Th- That's why, bro, I think, bro, like... And I think a lot of it is... <clears throat> People don't know like how much work you have to put in to be great. They don't like they don't. people see the bronze. People see the. I tell you all the time, bro. Y'all see y'all y'all see. You know what I mean. I'm blessed in the position of being a professional athlete. You see my myself or any other professional athlete or any other high level collegiate athlete. <coughs> Excuse me. You see what they're doing on Saturdays, Sundays, or during the games, and yeah. A lot of it is a god god given ability. But bro, behind them closed doors, like Yeah, it's a lot. To like it, kids want to be Kobe Bryant or whatnot. They because kids ain't they can't make it through a Kobe Bryant re- regiment. Now, mind you, they might not like, you know what I mean? They have to be that strenuous or whatnot. But that's just like a, a stream example. Like, like you like, bro, you're not getting up at five in the morning and going to work out before yeah, school. Kids don't not even kids. 
High school, <laughs> high school athletes, they don't want to do that. You're not getting up at five in the morning and working out before going to school. You like they, it, but you don't love it. It's it's a league. and a lot of a lot of it is, bro. Nowadays, bro, um, I think social media is more prevalent too nowadays. That that's what's appeasing. It's not Having that. A, it's the fact that you can do a little and make it look like a lot. No, what I'm saying is I think kids, what, what I mean by that is, that's a true statement what you're saying. That's, But what I was saying is that it's so appeasing and it's so like, I think this is what I was, I think clout is the worst drug in, in today's society. Mm-hmm. Clout is the worst drug known to mankind right now. And I think that's what kids, like kids see that part of it like, oh, I want to be known. Oh, I I, I want to be the, the, the one that has so many followers on Instagram, yada, yada, yada. But it's like, yeah, the people that you're looking at, they, 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 it's a reason why they got, like, they got there because of what they're, like, the the work they're putting yeah. out. You know what I mean? That's the more point of what I was saying. Like, they just see that in a, a piece of that. And I think it ties into what you just said. Oh, they can, you feel me? They can take a video or they can do one little workout and now they expect them to, Nah, bro, it's a it's a lot, and that's thing. That's the like part. They they like the they like what comes with the yeah. with the accomplishments, the success. But do you love it enough to to have the lows, the the dark the dark times? The do you love it enough to <clears throat> when you don't feel like it? Oh, bro, I got this workout at five, bro. I don't feel like it. I'm gonna go work out. Then I'm gonna go to school. Got to be in class all day. Then I'm gonna still go to practice afterwards. Then when I get home, I'm probably gonna do something too. Like, do you love it enough to to yeah, really do true. that and pour into your dream enough? But I think that's a true quote. And a, a lot of parents, I guarantee you, a lot of parents and kids that understand that that quote from Don Staley, it was rubbed the wrong way because it's the guilty. I, when people when you rub the wrong way from that, you're guilty of it. Yeah. Like, you feel me? But and I think I say I know you you have you probably deal with it more because of you're you're basically you're not there's no basically you're you're a trainer and a coach is in the yeah. same field. And so that's what you do. And so hey, you probably see it all the time at the gym, bro. Crazy. I know you do. Crazy. I got one, I got another one more. Town alone is not enough. Invest in more consistency. True or false? True. Invest more into consistency. True. Wow. <laughs> Talent only takes you so far. Like you can't, like you, you can't get to the highest level. There's, uh, there's probably one in every five hundred that is just so God given them, gifted to where they may not have to do as much work, but they still have to even still have to put in work. You can't not, you cannot make it to the next level without putting in work. And it's crazy, man. That's where the consi- that's why the consistency part comes in because that's crazy. You can't work out one or two days, then don't do nothing for three days, then miss a whole week, then come back in and then do something. I see that a lot too. And then and then I tell people all the time, and I and when I say this, I don't want it to to come off as like a oh he thinks he like he thinks he knows everything he thinks he's too good or just because of you know what I mean where I'm at but like I said it for myself too even where I'm at now going into year four in the league like I can, I have, I feel like right now I have to work even more harder you know what I mean even with me being already in the league or whatnot I feel like I still have to work even more harder and be more consistent with it because that's what excellence takes and people understand how quick you can you can lose something. Or how quick, like, I was put an example like this, bro. Like when, you know, we talk about it in the gym. Like, you go on vacation, or you, or you miss three or four days, or like even Come a, back, a, a weekend, a, dead, a weekend of workout. You'd be like, bro, like I feel terrible. Yeah. So you know what I mean. So like even those little times, and that's just a two or three days. So it's like, bro, like if, if you're consistently not putting in work, I'm I'm here to tell people that you like you. It's, I don't want to ever say never or put limitations on anybody, but like it's, don't be surprised when you like, bro, why am I not, why am I not, you know what I mean? Like, why, like, why am I not, bro? Like, I, I'm working out. Fool, you worked out once in two weeks. That ain't working <laughs> out. That, that ain't doing nothing. Yeah, but you, and and you, you dropped in, twin. Yeah, like, and that's not even, and it's easy to talk because we're talking about sports, but that's for anything that you do. Like, 
Oh, I got one for you. That's like that's like CT being like, bro, like from six months from now, bro, why am I, you feel me? What why am I why am I editing stuff? Like, why my videos not getting better? Or why am I well fool, if you take a hiatus of two, three weeks, are you not being on your computer or not being on your editing skills or you out the loop or or learning knowledge from other people and, and like you it's bro time waits on nobody and there's always somebody working and that's in any respected aspect it's we're talking about sports right now so that's why I, but i wanted to make sure that people understood that's tied to anything else so i yes that's a very true statement all right last one i guess i don't i don't need to agree or disagree I don't know what I'm looking for here. Tell me what you think. All right. Just apologize, just apologize when you're wrong instead of being defensive because you're embarrassed. First thing that popped in my head is relationships. <laughs> See, not me. That's I I the reason why I'm gonna tell you the reason why that's the first thing that popped into my head because I struggle with the I for for the first part. Uh, with me and KK, like when we first, I was like, one, you know, we're men, so we're very prideful as it is. That's just our 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 species. We're very prideful, but we're very egotistical, very prideful. And but I, I I used to always have to get the last word, and I used to always have to like leave whatever conversation that we was having. I had to feel like I was right. I had to, bro, whether I was wrong or wrong or not. But, you know, that's a drug. You think so? It's a drug for people to feel like you have to be right. It's a drug. I'm because growing. I'm, I'm growing. I've gotten better. I'm, I'm, no, I'm talking about, and not yeah. just you. I'm talking about in general. I'm just playing off what you say in general. Because when I, when I read that, when I saw that, I thought about the kids in the gym. They do it all the time. Mm. If they knock over hurdles. Oh, uh, um, I slipped it. No, you just knocked over hurdle. It's straight. 20. I see what you're saying. Yeah, just get back in. Just get that's, back in. It's that's, cool. That's the embarrassed part. Because I'm gonna tell you this right now. I talk a lot of junk. That's what I do. I talk a lot of junk, but I pat you on the back when you do a good job. I think that makes a great. I, I think that makes for a great environment. But though. I also, if we've if we've done this enough, if you've been around enough, if you mess up. You know in the back of your head, I gotta go back. I gotta, I gotta lock in. There's no, there's no need for me to say anything. That that goes. You know what I'm saying? Holding yourself accountable. So, when I read, I was like, I need to show this to my kids. So say it one more time. Not my say, personal say, kids. Apologize when you're wrong instead it of says, something about being embarrassed. Just apologize when you're wrong, instead of being defensive because you're embarrassed. Defensive is, you know, everybody knows defensive mean, but yeah. that's what, that's what, and everybody does it. Like, oh, damn, bro, like, my, oh, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. this goes along with the parents as well. Mm. The parents in the whole recruiting thing. My son isn't playing. I'm embarrassed because my son isn't playing. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make, make something excuse. up I'm for make him. Excuse. It's the same thing. This is, when I read it, I was like, man, that, that ties in a, a lot See, of See, I don't deal with that. That's why my first thing was relationship. Yeah, and it happens in relationships too. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's that's why I I appreciate my lady so much because she she'd be like, like, you know, she get on my ass, like, fool, you trip like you, you can't always be like, and, and like I had to, I had to I had to like I had to like get better at that, bro. I was bad, bro. Like, I don't know if it was the embarrassed factor or it was like just me being feeling like like I was being like she was trying me or if, it's vulnerability, bro. And that's thing, like, and and I think that's what helped like me and my lady so so tight now. I'm I could be vulnerable around her. I mean it's like it's like uh I mean that's your honest self. Vulnerable a, a vulnerable person is their honest is, is their honest self about whatever Take, it is. Taking your guard down. Yeah, you're taking your guard down. So yeah. it's easy for somebody to be like Oh, come here, boy. Come here, girl. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's what uh that's what I took from that that uh that quote, man. It was like, wow. You see this, you see this in I guess all facets of life, even with relationships, but man, parents, 
quit doing that to your kids, man. You got to let your kids deal with adversity. You got to let them deal with adversity, man. It builds character. It definitely does. It builds character. They're not going to call you when they get fired from their job. They're going to get them another job. You know what I'm saying? They're not, they're not gonna call you when when they when when they get benched. They're gonna they're gonna go back to the gym and work on it. They're not gonna call you when somebody dropped 40 on them. They're gonna go back to the gym and they're gonna work on it. It's just it's just a matter of let your kids fail. Ain't That's nothing true. wrong with it. You got to build character, like you just said. Ain't nothing wrong with it. And I think the last thing that, that I'll say to that is you know what they say in life, only thing guaranteed is death, taxes, and adversity. Adversity, man. You feel me? Hey. But that's what makes, bro, God made us all unique and that's is the key thing to everybody's story. This is what I leave y'all off with. That is the key thing to everybody's story is <clears throat> adversity that they went through and not how they got through it, but how they, how they grew through it. So when adversity hit, cause it's gonna hit. That's pretty much everybody's story too. What's talking about what I just said? The adversity, yep. Always, always overcome adversity. Always. Going through adversity. How, how you grow through it, it's going to be a testimony for you and something that you can share to somebody else down the line. So, hey, that's all I got. That's all I got, too. Uh, Come on, now. Cocaine Whites. Y'all know what it is, man, though. Combos with the crew. Myself, T. Wood. My dog, you. This episode 11? 12. 11. 11? We rolling. Damn. Episode 11, man. Y'all know, as always, we love y'all. We proud of y'all. Peace, love, blessings. We out.